Hello there. Won't you be my neighbor? Today we are doing, this is an exciting one, Seasons for Edgar Hernandez, Luca Biaggi, Glenn Dungale, Pedro R., and Matt Young. This one is, wow, this might be the most satisfying, uh, you know, time you could spend learning a song this year. Uh, but the tuning's really weird. It's a doozy. So it's like dad gad, but instead of the G, it's another A. So here we go. Guitar tuned relatively normal. I haven't tuned it yet today, so we shall see. Oh, we get to read my text too from, from who knows. Figure that out later. Okay, good. Here we go. E goes down to D. A stays A. D stays D, that's the dad part. So many dads lately. All right, then, here we go. G goes up to A, so go slow. Okay, B goes down to A. And E goes down to D. Great. Then you put your capo on the third fret. And then you take a break so Ryan can review the song. Be right back. Bye. All right. Constantly and all new heights in awe of this man's songwriting. Good grief. He was and continues to be a phenom. So we've got our guitar tuned to dad dad and capo on the third fret, so now all those notes are three half steps higher, which makes it a whole bunch of Fs and a whole bunch of Cs. It's a big giant F power chord. The biggest, most giant F power chord you've ever played, probably, uh, unless you own a seven string. But, having said that, so just like songs in Dadgad, where you, you sort of have a whole big D chord except for the G string, and you can move the G string around like like Land or like Clear and like other songs that aren't mine. Uh, same concept here because what we've got is two uh, F notes on the used to be E string and used to be D string and we've got two C notes on the used to be A string and used to be G string. So a lot of times in this song we're going to be playing those two strings including this first part which we're going to call the intro. So. So, um, do the 13th fret, I'm going to call out frets not relative to the capo, pretending there's no capo, because otherwise it's going to get confusing, because we're going so up and so down. So 13th fret on the, we're still going to call it the E and the D strings, just so we don't lose our minds. Then, down to the 6th fret, up to the 12th fret, then the 7th fret, and then the 10th fret, and that's part 1.A. You can just strum away at the whole thing, because like I said, it's a big giant open F power chord, and the notes we play interact with that F. So. Chris would have had to choose his notes wisely, as he did. Then, here's the best part. Doing 13 on A and G, up to 15, and back to 13. And then down to 8, wait, 12, then down to 8, and then down to 6. Capo things really. So that was... And that's our whole intro. That was one dot B. Whole thing! So, great. Now we have like the next two minutes of the song are all this. Just open A, D, G, then A2, then 
E string three twice there like that. So we pluck down the three, the fattest three strings beginning with the first one we were beginning with. There's a sentence for you. It's in triplets, sort of. A, D, G, second fret A string. Now third fret E string twice. And then, did I say third fret or second fret? I meant third fret. Third fret E string. And then second fret, pull off. And then you can plug A, D. So we got four. I think that's what it is. Second fret, give it a little bend. Pull off, pluck that E string again. Then pluck the D string. Here we go. minutes and then you move on to the next thing which is there's five parts we just did two I got to keep track this is hard to keep track of because they're also sort of interchangeable and you'll even hear him use the same melody but change the part which makes it all the more confusing so here's another part you figure out where they go using your ear balls I'm not your mother do it yourself if you believe I'm your mother please call in <laughs> next part part three we're gonna do all the strings <laughs> Then 2nd fret on A and G. Then 4th... Uh, no, 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 not 2nd fret because the... Oh, I just ruined everything. Do you, you know what I mean? Like, when I said when I said 3rd fret, I meant 6th fret. For the intro, okay, you get it. All right, you get it. Oh, I ruined everything. I'm switching modes now. Open. A and G string 2. Then 4 everything. Then E and D string six. Corrections Beaver in a can says obviously that's five relative to the capo. Whew. Relative to the capo. Sorry for the confusion. at the end of this part but not every time it then goes to the this fret the one two three fourth fret relative to the capo and then the seventh fret relative to the capo or tenth fret actual it ends it like that great that was three parts we have two more parts <clears throat> the first one that comes to mind is the one that goes like this So, you give your E string a big bend on the relative capo 3rd fret, but you can sloppily sort of strum whatever you get here, and then take it off and strum again, and then 3rd fret relative capo on A, G, up to 5th fret relative capo, then do your bendy thing on the E string 3rd fret again, and strum like that. So, oops, I missed. can't stop. Uh, there's one more part. That was four parts. We did a... Is there a... We just did that. Okay, what's the last part?
very similar to but it's like the big strummy angry version of it and it is open two on a g give it a bend but you can't bend it very much it's like an eighth of a half step bend and then you do your bend thing on the e string third fret on the 15th fret because 12, which is our normal harmonic spot, uh, plus three is 15. And there you have it, Seasons by Chris Cornell. I've had that one on my mind for a long time to do, but I just kept trying and it just didn't sound right. But uh, there it is, we got it all figured out. So I hope you enjoy that. And, uh, and uh, I think I'm gonna try this whole video again. <laughs> but if I don't, and this is the actual outro, have a wonderful day. Thank you for being here, and I will be back with more stuff next time. Goodbye.